Hey all you art junkies out there, welcome to Illustration Overdose. My name is Donnie Ray Crisp and today I'm going to show you how to draw fire. We'll get started in just a sec. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a very easy technique how to draw basic flames. And if you try this three to four times after that, you can draw flames in less than a minute. So let's get to it. So the first thing that we need to do is to pick a pressure sensitive brush with an hard edge and set the opacity to about 60%. The next thing that we need to do is to pick a color and this will work with almost any color. So if we want our flame to be in the yellow orange range, we first choose a very bright orange and then go down here and choose a darker version of that orange and hit OK. So now we're gonna draw the shape of our flame and the first thing that we need is a core and this is like where the flame begins from and all the lines that we draw will be connected to the core. So now we're gonna draw some lines and create the basic shape of our, of our flame. And the only thing to consider in this step is that these lines should be kind of pointy at the end. Okay, so this is gonna be the basic shape of our flame. So if you're happy with the shape of your flame, then go up here to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. <laughs> and this shouldn't be too, well, this should be blurry, but not too blurry like this. But maybe something like this then hit OK. Now we want our flame to look a little bit more wild and uncontrollable and to do that we go up here to filter, distort and wave. And here we have some sliders that we can drag around and in this little preview window down here you can see what changes. The only thing that I don't like about this window is that it is too small and because our flame um, is on its own layer the background here is transparent. So here's a little tip that, um, that I like to do. So hit escape on your keyboard, select your background layer and duplicate it. If you press command J or control J on your keyboard, you can duplicate a layer. Pull it up here and merge your background layer and your flame layer together. So go to merge layers and then go to filter, distort, wave. And now if I drag these sliders around, I can see much better what's going on down here in this little preview window. So once you're um, happy with the result, press OK and then go two step backwards to the state where these two layers were separated and delete the background layer, select your flame layer and then go up here to filter again. And the first option that we have, wave, is the last filter that we used. So hit wave and voila, we have the same result that we had with the two merged layers together but now our flame layer is on its own layer. So now you're probably thinking, well, Donnie, this doesn't look like a cool flame at all. My grandma could do better. But wait, in only six easy steps that take less than 20 seconds, we're going to turn this into something amazing. Step one, duplicate the layer. Step two, set the layer mode to linear dodge. Step three, merge these two layers. Step 4, duplicate this layer. Step 5, set this layer mode to linear dodge. Step 6, erase the ends with a feathered brush. And now you're all like, what? Badass flame. But there are three teeny tiny things that we can do to make this look even better. So the first thing that we can do is um, duplicate this layer up here and go to blending options color overlay and set it to white, press OK and now we're gonna also um, erase the surroundings with a feather brush so the core is white. The next thing that we're going to do is to add a nice glow. And to do that we're gonna select all our flame layers, duplicate them, merge these together 
go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, make it very blurry, pull it underneath all the other flame layers and set the opacity to about 40%. And the last thing that we're going to do is add some fire sparks. So to do that, we're going to create a new layer, pull it above all the other flame layers, select a brush with a hard edge, choose the color white, take our opacity up to 100%, and then draw the sparks. Then we're gonna go to blending options, outer glow, and the outer glow color should be a very dark orange, almost red. Go to blend mode normal, size a little bit bigger, then go to opacity, pull it all the way up, then go to inner glow, set the inner glow to in dark orange, also blend mode normal and pull the size up a bit Then go to OK and then go to filter blur uh, Gaussian blur and yeah, make it a bit blurry and that's it I also wanted to show you guys how cool this could look inside a wizard's hand so I'll merge these layers together and here's a little something I prepared and then I'll drag the flame layer in between. And then I'll just erase the edges a bit. So I think that looks pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Tell me how you liked it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, me again. If you like this video, please subscribe, or write a comment, or share the video with your friends. Until next time, see ya.